Go on and tell it now. Go on and tell the news. I said, go on and tell it, boys. Go on and tell the news. Tell it, tell it to the world now. Proclaim the dead man's blues. Go on and tell it now. Go on and tell the news. I said, go on and tell it, boys. Go on and tell the news. Tell it, tell it to the world now. Proclaim the dead man's blues. Certainly, there are many stories I could have picked. I picked his because his story hadn't been told. 21, 22, 23. The play is a lot about many things. It's about betrayal, it's about nationalism, it's about patriotism, it's about civil rights. She had started out planning to write a play about the blacklist and kept on saying Canada's name, Canada's name, and was very much intrigued. And this was a good story and nobody had bothered to tell it. The information wasn't there, so it felt to me like a, a travesty that nobody had taken this story up, nobody told it. He was a remarkable human being and has never really quite gotten his due. It's a fascinating, fascinating thing. You ask anybody. There's no one who knows who he is. It's a terrible shame. Was she a famous actress or...? Well, it's an actor. Actor. <laughs> Obviously, I don't know very much about Canada Lee. It's unfortunate that he has such a, a wonderful career and, and nobody knows about him. Right? You know, been a huge uh, black star all through the, the 50s and 60s if he had lived. But he had the kind of... Uh, visibility that uh, Denzel and Samuel Jackson and Morgan Freeman have. That really means a lot that he just kind of disappeared from the radar. You know? mm -hmm. I don't know very much about it. Uh, I know that he was wronged. The tragic situation of the way history is taught uh, that we don't learn about some of these important people. A lot of people don't know who he is or don't remember him or if they do oh yeah he was the uh, the porter in the in, in lifeboat that guy oh, all right but I think he's, he's a fascinating character and I think his story should be told. Unfortunately with all the stuff that happened with communism and, and, and so on uh, and waving the red flag um, he got caught up in that. And Canada was speaking out against the right things Jim Crow segregation but he was just doing it at the wrong places so he was doing the right thing at the wrong time and that's why everything just crumbled around him. And thus people, he's, you know, a, a page or a chapter in history that has just been violently ripped out and, and thrown away. So. New York Times, May 9, 1952. Canada Lee, 45, Negro star of the stage and screen, died today of a heart attack at his home in Greenwich Village. The New York Post, May 9, 1952. Canada Lee had been accused by the FBI of supporting a number of subversive groups. The Daily Worker. Canada Lee's death was hastened by the bullying of the blacklist. The Daily News. Canada Lee was a traitor to his country. Well, look who popped out of Pandora's box. Ed Sullivan. Though it's a work of fiction, it still does convey, I think, I hope, the essence of his story. Which this story is about the human spirit, to be a small part of, of making it happen. Um, it's just, I, 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 I don't have words for it. It's one of the best plays I've ever been associated with. It's one of the most well-rounded roles that I've ever been able to play. To do this play in general is incredible. and to open on the night that he died, he's just, it's really special. That there was a big part of me that actually didn't believe that I was going to be able to produce this play on this date. And I'm just really pleased and proud and thankful and grateful to all the people who helped me make it happen. It is, you know, it's too monumental to put into words. Um, 
a lot of incredible feelings, a lot of incredible history that I didn't have before. How and great it is to tell stories that actually mean something, I mean, that have such incredible modern important relevance, you know, the journey of freedom, it's just... It's really nice to be involved in something that actually matters. I'm excited because I know that we started something. So hopefully something happens from it because it was wonderful. I look forward to seeing this go further. You know, this is the beginning of something. I don't know what, but it's the beginning of something. So. In terms of the significance it's going to have in the theater scene, it's impossible to know really what's going to happen. But one has to hope. I mean, the whole reason you do this really is because you hope to take your story to the widest possible public. I learned that it's hard to be a good American and a righteous Negro at the same time. The man was a fighter and was cut down simply because he had the courage to speak from his convictions. And that's, that's an amazing thing. And we should all be so strong as to stand up like Canada did for his people and for all people who, as we say in the play, did not enjoy the full privileges of this democracy. And that's what Canada did. And, you know, America took him down for that. And that's a real American tragedy. He was a truly fantastic human being. Anything that can possibly be brought to the public is more than due.